Ancient Philosophy, Wikipedia article audio. This page lists some links to ancient philosophy. In Western philosophy, the spread of Christianity in the Roman Empire marked the ending of Hellenistic philosophy and ushered in the beginnings of medieval philosophy, whereas in Eastern philosophy, the spread of Islam through the Arab Empire marked the end of Old Iranian philosophy and ushered in the beginnings of early Islamic philosophy. Genuinely philosophical thought, depending upon original individual insights, arose in many cultures roughly contemporaneously. Karl Jaspers termed the intense period of philosophical development beginning around the 7th century and concluding around the 3rd century BCE an axial age in human thought. Introduction Ancient Chinese Philosophy Vedic Philosophy Mimamsa Vedanta Samkhya Yoga Schools of Thought Naya Navyanya Hundred Schools of Thought Vaisheshika Enstika Tamil Early Imperial China Other Philosophers General Topics Ancient Greek and Roman Philosophy Jainism Buddhism Philosophers 2 Traditions Topics Persons Topics New Confucianism Pre-Socratic Philosophers Daoism, Persons Classical Greek Philosophers Topics Agastya, Arunai, Ashtavakra, Adri, Vashistha, Yajanavakaya Legalism Chinese Buddhism Jaimini Hundred Schools of Thought Hellenistic Philosophy Hellenistic Schools of Thought Early Roman and Christian Philosophy Philosophers during Roman times Maoism Advaita, Bhattarayana, Gaudapada, Adi Shankara Other General Topics Topics Kapila Chinese philosophy is the dominant philosophical thought in China and other countries within the East Asian cultural sphere that share a common language, including Japan, Korea, and Vietnam. The Hundred Schools of Thought were philosophers and schools that flourished from the 6th century to 221 BCE, an era of great cultural and intellectual expansion in China. Even though this period known in its earlier part as the Spring and Autumn period and the Warring States period in its latter part was fraught with chaos and bloody battles, it is also known as the Golden Age of Chinese philosophy because a broad range of thoughts and ideas were developed and discussed freely. The thoughts and ideas discussed and refined during this period have profoundly influenced lifestyles and social consciousness up to the present day in East Asian countries. The intellectual society of this era was characterized by itinerant scholars, who were often employed by various state rulers as advisors on the methods of government, war, and diplomacy. This period ended with the rise of the Qin dynasty and the subsequent purge of descent. The Book of Han lists ten major schools, they are The founder of the Qin dynasty, who implemented legalism as the official philosophy, quashed Mahist and Confucianist schools. Legalism remained influential until the emperors of the Han dynasty adopted Daoism and later Confucianism as official doctrine. These latter two became the determining forces of Chinese thought until the introduction of Buddhism. 
ancient Indian philosophy. Confucianism was particularly strong during the Han dynasty, whose greatest thinker was Dong Zongshu, who integrated Confucianism with the thoughts of the Zongshu school and the theory of the five elements. He also was a promoter of the New Text School, which considered Confucius as a divine figure and a spiritual ruler of China, who foresaw and started the evolution of the world towards the universal peace. In contrast, there was an old text school that advocated the use of Confucian works written in ancient language that were so much more reliable. In particular, they refuted the assumption of Confucius as a godlike figure and considered him as the greatest sage, but simply a human and mortal. The 3rd and 4th centuries saw the rise of the Suangxiu, also called Neo Taoism. The most important philosophers of this movement were Wang Bai, Xiang Xiu, and Guo Xiang. The main question of this school was whether being came before not being. A peculiar feature of these Taoist thinkers, like the seven sages of the bamboo grove, was the concept of Feng Lu, a sort of romantic spirit which encouraged following the natural and instinctive impulse. Buddhism arrived in China around the 1st century AD, but it was not until the Northern and Southern, Sui, and Tang dynasties that it gained considerable influence and acknowledgement. At the beginning, it was considered a sort of Taoist sect, and there was even a theory about Laozi, founder of Taoism, who went to India and taught his philosophy to Buddha. Mahayana Buddhism was far more successful in China than its rival Hinayana, and both Indian schools and local Chinese sects arose from the 5th century. Two chiefly important monk philosophers were Seng Zhao and Dadas Hung. But probably the most influential and original of these schools was the Chan sect, which had an even stronger impact in Japan as the Zen sect. Vedic Philosophy Sramana philosophy Classical Indian philosophy See also, Christian philosophy The ancient Indian philosophy is a fusion of two ancient traditions, Sramana tradition and Vedic tradition. Indian philosophy begins with the Vedas where questions related to laws of nature, the origin of the universe and the place of man in it are asked. In the famous Rigvedic hymn of creation the poet says, In the Vedic view, creation is ascribed to the self-consciousness of the primeval being. This leads to the inquiry into the one being that underlies the diversity of empirical phenomena and the origin of all things. Cosmic order is termed RTA and causal law by karma. Nature is taken to have three qualities. Jainism and Buddhism are continuation of the Sramana school of thought. The Sramanas cultivated a pessimistic worldview of the samsara as full of suffering and advocated renunciation and austerities. They laid stress on philosophical concepts like ahimsa, karma, jnana, samsara, and moksa. Kravka philosophy, also known as Lochyata. It is a system of Hindu philosophy that assumes various forms of philosophical skepticism and religious indifference. It is named after its founder, Kravke, author of the Brasbatistras. Ancient Indian Philosophers In classical times, these inquiries were systematized in six schools of philosophy. Some of the questions asked were the six schools of Indian philosophy are See also, dualism, dualism While there are ancient relations between the Indian Vedas and the Iranian Avesta, the two main families of the Indo-Iranian philosophical traditions were characterized by fundamental differences in their implications for the human being's position in society and their view of man's role in the universe. 
The first charter of human rights by Cyrus the Great as understood in the Cyrus Cylinder is often seen as a reflection of the questions and thoughts expressed by Zarathustra and developed in Zoroastrian schools of thought of the Achaemenid era of Iranian history. Ideas and tenets of Zoroastrian schools of early Persian philosophy are part of many works written in Middle Persian and of the extant scriptures of the Zoroastrian religion in Avestan language. Among these are treatises such as the Shikand Gumanik Vishar by Martin Farux or Majdadan, selections of Denkard, Witsadax Sprem as well as older passages of the Book of Esta, the Gathas which are attributed to Zarathustra himself and regarded as his direct teachings. Anachursis See also, Jewish philosophy First millennium BCE Philosophers of Vedic Age Philosophers of Axial Age Philosophers of Golden Age Ancient Iranian Philosophy Schools of Thought II Zoroastrianism Premanachian Thought Manichetism Mazdakism Zervanism Philosophy and the Empire Literature Ancient Jewish Philosophy First Temple Assyrian Exile Second Temple Early Roman Exile Patanjali Gotama Gangesha Upadhyaya Kannada Javika Charvaka, Kashmir Shaivism, Abhinavagupta Valovam, Valovar Chanakya Ahimsa, Atomism, Atman, Tuman, Tuman, Tuman Haribhadra, Dhomeswadi Buddha Madhyamika, Nagarjuna Dukkha, Anatta Anaksa, Nirvana, Pratyasamitpita, Emptiness Confucius, Mencius Face, Filial Piety, Guangzai, Ren, Li Han Yu, Wang Yang Ming, Xiang Shili, Zhu Xi Laozi Tao, Yin Yang, Wu Wei Shang Yang Shintai, Ziyi Matsi, Zhuangzi Mao Sun Tzu Te, Qi Four Tenets System, Rangtong Shentong, Svatantrika Prasajika Distinction Confucianism which teaches that human beings are teachable, improvable, and perfectible through personal and communal endeavor especially including self-cultivation and self-creation. A main idea of Confucianism is the cultivation of virtue and the development of moral perfection. Confucianism holds that one should give up one's life, if necessary, either passively or actively, for the sake of upholding the cardinal moral values of Ren and Yi, legalism. Often compared with Machiavelli, and foundational for the traditional Chinese bureaucratic empire, the legalists examined administrative methods, emphasizing a realistic consolidation of the wealth and power of autocrat and state, Taoism, a philosophy which emphasizes the three jewels of the Tao, compassion, moderation, and humility, while Taoist thought generally focuses on nature, the relationship between humanity and the cosmos, health and longevity, and Wu Wei. Harmony with the universe, or the source thereof, is the intended result of many Taoist rules and practices, Moism, which advocated the idea of universal love, Matsi believed that everyone is equal before heaven, and that people should seek to imitate heaven by engaging in the practice of collective love. 
His epistemology can be regarded as primitive materialist empiricism, he believed that human cognition ought to be based on one's perceptions one's sensory experiences, such as sight and hearing instead of imagination or internal logic, elements founded on the human capacity for abstraction. Mozzi advocated frugality, condemning the Confucian emphasis on ritual and music which he denounced as extravagant, naturalism, the school of naturalists or the yin-yang school, which synthesized the concepts of yin-yang and the five elements, Zhou Yan is considered the founder of this school, agrarianism, or the school of agrarianism, which advocated peasant utopian communalism and egalitarianism. The agrarians believed that Chinese society should be modeled around that of the early sage King Shen Nong, a folk hero which was portrayed in Chinese literature as working in the fields, along with everyone else, and consulting with everyone else when any decision had to be reached, the logicians or the school of names, which focused on definition and logic. It is said to have parallels with that of the ancient Greek sophists or dialecticians. The most notable logician was Gongsun Longzi, the school of diplomacy or school of vertical and horizontal, which focused on practical matters instead of any moral principle, so it stressed political and diplomatic tactics and debate and lobbying skill. Scholars from this school were good orators, debaters, and tacticians, the miscellaneous school, which integrated teachings from different schools, for instance, Lu Buwei found scholars from different schools to write a book called La Shi Chun Kai cooperatively. This school tried to integrate the merits of various schools and avoid their perceived flaws, the school of minor talks which was not a unique school of thought, but a philosophy constructed of all the thoughts which were discussed by and originated from normal people on the street. Another group is the school of the military that studied strategy and the philosophy of war, Sun Tzu and Sun Bin were influential leaders. However, this school was not one of the ten schools defined by Hanshu. School of the Sextii Vedas, Upanishads, Hindu philosophy What is the ontological nature of consciousness, how is cognition itself experienced, is mind intentional or not, does cognition have its own structure? Naya, Vaisheshika, Samkhya, Yoga, Mimamsa, Vedanta